Some stories tend to begin with carnage or turmoil. Enshrouded is a story where the world is plagued with evil and a deadly fog that would be fatal to any mortal person. However, every story has a bit of hope that will shine bright and you are the flameborn, that savior for the world of Enshrouded, which is in early access on Steam PC. Get ready, adventurers. The story is pretty straightforward as you are a vessel, the flameborn, here to save this once beautiful land from the shroud. It is this terrible fog that holds creatures, be it phantoms, zombies, deadly bugs, or even plants. Your task is to save some craftsmen and cleanse the land as best as you can. Here you stand either alone or with your fellow flameborn to tackle all sorts of enemies. But first you will need a place to kick your feet up. This is where you try to test your building skills that is... It does not have limits. You can build an underground fortress, a straight up castle, or both. Only limited to your resources at first or your imagination. A flame altar, which will be needed, will have to be upgraded as you go along. You start things off with a 40 by 40 by 40 plot of land. Max level is 160 by 160 by 160, which is a huge plot of land to build upon. The resources you will need are scattered all over the land, so don't be shy. Say hi to your deadly neighbors. Yeah, sometimes things will be in the shroud like salt and shroud sacks, but you will start off normal as you explore and gradually advance as you go along. The first stop is to get your blacksmith. Each NPC you find will have more missions for you to traverse the lands and also will help you advance your land, your character, and the things you can build. Also, you don't need to worry about going hungry. The food you gather and other edible items you will use will buff your character instead. You will have healing potions and bandages as well as other food to replenish health. But do not worry. You won't be starving. Which is a great plus. My current build is a tank build. But you have other options of mage, ranger, warrior, and barbarian. Or be a jack of all trades and have them all. My tank build helps myself out and my team as I aggro all enemies so that my friends can attack the enemy from behind, which gives you a big damage numbers. Before I forget, you can play with up to six players. That's a good number. You can all venture off to gather resources, and when it's time to team up on missions, just meet up and rain hellfire on your foes. Now, I do say six players, but the max is actually 16. But I guess you can set up your server to do either or. It's up to you. A quick tip though. Make sure you build a flame altar near any type of boss area. Either a camp or some type of dungeon that you're about to get into. When you build a flame altar, that's a good respawn point. So you don't have to get respawned all the way back to where your base is. Saves you time. Keep that in mind. Traversing the lands can be a chore. But there are some fun ways of doing it. With either your grappling hook or your glider. Breath of the Wild inspired many games, and good because this thing is fun. You can upgrade both so you can last longer or zip faster. I do feel like some kind of mount would have been good for the game, you know, for ground travel, but you know, it's still in early access, you never know what might come up later on. But also keep in mind that when you start leveling up even more, there will be ways of making grappling hook areas, so you can just actually use your grappling hook more often in certain areas. When it comes to combat, it's up to your personal preference between being a one-handed fighter, two-handed fighter, archer, or mage. As you progress through not just leveling up your base area, but by gathering other survivors for better equipment. As I mentioned before, it's not just with the main resources and stuff like that. You want to get better arrows and shields or other weaponry. Exploring is your best bet and gathering enough resources for what you need. Parrying is a bit wonky as if... You know, when you hit the block button at the right time to stun an enemy, but if you try to do it again, like in succession, when you keep on getting attacked to time a parry right, the block doesn't actually come out, and you actually stutter, which is very annoying. But again, this is early access. It's to be expected. It does not, you know, respond as quickly as I want it to be, but I'm going to address that in my report. Enshrouded scares the beast out of me. <laughs> Whoever was in the sound design deserves awards because you can have a peaceful chirping situation walking down the forest or the road one minute 
and then once you even get a little bit close to the shroud areas it becomes a horror show with growling snarling scratching little creepy things crawling on the ground and getting closer you don't know you could just be walking through the shroud and all of a sudden all these new noises come around make you jump around and look around like who there who that and something could be coming at you but you won't know until it's too late this is really good sound work and i'm very impressed especially with the combat of the clinking of the metal or when you parry a monster it's it's all good I'm, I'm loving that so much and the music soundtrack is great as well the composers honestly chef's kiss now when it comes to visually looking at the world I catch myself being captivated, stopping at an edge, looking on the horizon, especially whoever worked on the day and night cycle. They, sh they should definitely get an award for that because it is so beautiful seeing the sunset or the sun rising or when you see the moon in the sky and it kind of illuminates the area a bit more, which makes you not want to use your torch or any type of item that causes light. It is so nice and you can see the attention of detail of that happening. Not bad. Give me props for that. And Shrouded is near perfect, and this might be considered a nitpick, but there is no climbing mechanic. Yeah, that freaking, that's weird to me. I mean, granted, with the tools you have, you can dig upwards or almost any area to scale walls. Later on, you can unlock the hook mechanic so you can make grapple points. But still, I feel like they had to sacrifice something, or maybe they will add that later on. But either way, you can get creative and make yourself a step ladder, or you can bring some resources with you to build a, a stairs in some case. I haven't tried it out yet. I need to. But yeah, it's kind of weird that you can't climb up a wall, even though everything else uses stamina. Your glider uses stamina. Your grappling hook uses stamina, which is really weird to me. But yeah, climbing would be nice. <laughs> Again, Enshrouded is still in early access, so there are some bugs like enemies being half in the floor and will not die, but they can attack in that space. It's not too bad, it's kind of comedic in a way, but it hopefully that does get fixed. There's so far nothing game breaking, which is a plus, being that this game is only 30 bucks, you get a lot of bang for your money. I highly recommend this game. This game is definitely should be on your list. I like the fact that you have cross progression, cross travel. Pretty much your character goes with you everywhere. So you don't have to worry about making a new character for somebody else's server. Whatever you do in your server, as long as you keep stuff in your backpack and on your person and your hotkeys, that goes along with you. Now, everything that's in your base and everything like that will stay in that server. But you can find an easy way to bring something along to somebody else's server, buddy server. But your leveling, the... The, the areas that you explored on your map still go with you to any server, so the map will open up, and it's freaking amazing. This is great. Like I said, only 30 bucks, and you get all this glory. That is nice. I love it. And with that being said, my final beastly score is 4 out of 5 paws. Check it out for yourself, and please share what you think of Enshrouded in the comments below. Also hit that like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I'm going to have more reviews coming soon, but I would like to discuss more of your thoughts on Enshrouded and maybe I can come to your server and, you know, adventure on with you. But as always, remember, Beast Out.